Hey guys, uh, it is Thursday, July 13th, 2023, and uh, in this video I'm going to review the NASDAQ for the regular trading hour session. We have an hour left, um, but I, I wanted to get this video out there because uh, this has been one of the absolute strangest days I have, I have yet to see, and I trade and I look at the NASDAQ every single day. And some of you are going to be like, well, what do you mean it's strange? Like, it's strange. Like, it, it's odd. It looks abnormal. And I know that Michael would look at this and be like, no, Reese, you're just an idiot. Okay, well, guys, we've been on, we've been like, you know, I'm on the autism spectrum. I have an uncanny ability to recognize patterns. This is like, this stuff right here, that's weird. I mean, that's really strange. That's strange. The New York lunch session, very strange. It's all efficient, and yet it's just like it's almost like it's you know, it's just not. We're not letting this thing go down at all today. I mean, obviously not, right? It's it's up two hundred and thirty six points, while the YM is only up thirty nine points, and the S and P is only up thirty two points. So it's almost like the normal. The, the, none of the normal expectations that I would have for price happen today. It just like, how do I explain it? Let's go to Wednesday's trading. Like, look at Wednesday's trading. You see how we get some inefficiencies that come in. We get, you know, decent looking price swings and not all of the candles are overlapping. There's some inefficiencies in here, right? You know, now go to today's trading. Just nothing. Absolutely everything is efficient. No inefficiencies to be found. And every single candle is, is overlapping. Uh, no amount of retracement at all whatsoever. Um, just, I'm probably, yeah, I, I think I should probably just ignore the rest of um, today. I I don't get it. I, this is odd. This is almost like, to me, some sort of manual intervention. Uh, it's just, look, th this swing right here, that's a very strange-looking swing. I promise you, you watch these things like I do, like autistically, every single day, and you'll know that's a very strange looking price swing. That's a very, like, odd. That's odd. That's odd. It's just odd looking. It's just not how I expect price to look. Uh, you know, we, we almost had like our normal, this is about the time that I would expect uh, New York AM session to come in and trade back to the low. And like, I'll, let me give you an example. Like, let's go back, let's go back. We went to Wednesday's trading. Let's go to Tuesday's trading. Like this is more normal, right? Get some inefficiencies. We get good, healthy swings. Uh, that's very normal looking trading, high resistance liquidity run. That's kind of, this is, you know, not all the candles have some separation in them. There's, you know, there's some inefficiencies being formed. Uh, you know, even that, even this swing up, right, that straight line up. Notice there's bissies, right? There are fair value gaps that are being formed on the way up. Now we come to today's trading. Something changed. Something looks different. Like, this is just really, really strange price action. And I also, uh, you know, even in the overnight session, I saw very strange things that I, I mentioned. Uh, what the hell is this at New York Open Midnight? Like, that is crazy. New York Open Midnight never does that. Uh, that's wild. Asian session was wild. Like, absolutely no just straight up but it was a very slow grind like those candles they had like one mark to market if you were watching them happen they happened very illiquid like it's almost like there was no liquidity in the book to be found uh just very illiquid like the mark to markets were very slow and then look look no amount of retracement whatsoever allowed we put in a high that like the normal time for that to put in a high that 0516 the end of the London AM session that's a very normal looking high and we immediately go run it before the PPI number even came out and then just look at how 
all the candles are overlapping. Everything's efficient. They're leaving. They're we're going straight up, but without any amount of any inefficiencies. Like we have tiny like that, right? And it's just uh, I don't I don't know. I I, I maybe Michael. Michael probably thinks that I'm full of shit if he were to watch this. Uh, but guys, if you watch the NASDAQ from an ICT lens like I do every single day, this is not normal. I'm just telling you, it's just not. It's, this is not normal price action. Uh, you do not expect price to, the NASDAQ at least, to behave like this. The most normal thing that I saw today was just this move down that drew into sell-side liquidity. That was kind of the most normal-looking thing that I saw today, and everything else has just been... Uh, that's that's a very strange price signature. That's very strange. Uh, the lunch session consolidated, yes, which is normal, but the they're leaving no inefficiencies. None. None. Just straight up, but with no inefficiency. All the candles are going to overlap. And Anyways, um, yeah, Thursday's price action really took me for a loop. I honestly, to be to be perfectly honest, the way that prices behave today is so strange. Me as a day trader, I know that y'all are looking at this right, and you're saying it's up, it's up 234 points. What do you mean? Just buy along and just hold it. You can't think that way when you're day trading, guys. Like. Price doesn't normally behave like this. It normally has healthy swings in both directions. And so if you get used to this sort of price action thinking that's normal, it's not. Like Wednesday's trading is more normal. That is normal looking price action. Okay. Way more normal looking price action. Thursday's trading is just everything about it has been very bizarre. Uh, look, just leaving no inefficiencies at all. Right. So I don't know what's going on here. I really don't. Um, everything is kind of out of sync. The YM is like barely moving. The NASDAQ is up 233 points. The ES is up 31 points. It's like half the distance of the, the NASDAQ. And it looks, this looks way more normal here on the S&P. Personally, I don't even, I don't like trading the ES, but that looks more normal, kind of. Not really. That looks pretty strange too, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, Russell 2000. Yeah, see, look, no inefficiencies, just very strange. See, look, see, that's normal. Crude oil, that's like normal looking price action. This kind of two, just two moves up, that's very normal looking price action. Okay, crude oil looks pretty normal. Gold looks bizarre. Wow. Gold looks bizarre today. Uh, I don't know. Australian dollar futures, wow, crazy. Um, I suppose it's really just a factor of the dollar index. Uh, I'm sure that Michael, if he watched this video, is like, Reese, you're an idiot. How can you not see it? I'm just not going to lie. I don't, I don't know. It's been very strange. Um, that That's not normal looking price signature. It's really not. Uh, it's just crazy. So, I don't know. My review for Thursday's trading is this really, this one really threw me for a loop. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you. It has nothing to do with like, I don't think the NASDAQ can go up this far. No, I believe the NASDAQ can go up as far as it wants to. It's not that. It, it is the way in which it has done it. It's, it's the, the, we are not allowing any amount of selling whatsoever, and we are not allowing any amount of inefficiency whatsoever. We are just going straight up in a buy program with very small candles, and there is no stopping this train. None of the macros work today. I don't think any of the macros were on point today. Uh, maybe they were. Maybe they weren't. I don't know. Uh, I, Michael would probably look at me for, for saying that this is strange-looking price action. Like, what do you mean it's strange? Well, I think it's very strange-looking. It's very strange-looking price action. From someone who stares at charts all day, Thursday's trading is not normal looking. So that's it. It's been my review of the NASDAQ for Thursday, July 13th. I This has been very wild. Very wild. Okay.
Uh, bye-bye.